So, you want to make an IK rig for your Fortnite character. Well, it's pretty easy actually, and I'm going to show you how. Well, at first, just let's just remove this thing and go into, uh, yeah, this view. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what is it called again? Solid mode. Because it's going to lag or just not go as smooth in uh, the previewed mode. So, yeah, let's just go in this mode. Uh, depending on your system, it will just be a lot more laggier. So, uh, the m every model basically already has its own uh, IKE model setup. And so, the only thing you've got to do is uh, very quickly edit all the. By the way, remember never, except if you really know what you're doing, delete any bones. Never do that. Okay, so uh, we've got these bones right, we're gonna delete those. Might speed this up a bit because this is shit you already know probably. Probably. That's just, Jesus Christ, that's a lot of bones to tyrant. Okay, I will be right back. Okay, god damn it, I just realized this character doesn't have any IK bones. Well, that doesn't matter, let's make them ourselves. Okay, we're gonna make a really quick and easy setup. By the way, you can use reoriented bones, but uh, this is going to be the quicker setup, uh, the easier one. Uh, so we're just gonna use this one. Uh, so... We want to delete a lot of bones. So we're going to go to edit mode, please. Thank you. And delete almost uh, this, just the complete half. Almost. No, not like that. Nope. Damn it. Yes, finally. Okay. And some bones you don't want to delete, such as these, which aren't aren't symmetrized or just exactly identical to the other side of the character. So, uh, except for example, mirrored, for example, these thingies, she doesn't have these shotgun shells on the other side of her body. So we are going to unselect those. But every bone that is mirrored, you want to delete. Okay, so, um, this bone isn't right, that bone is yeah, supposed to do that, and this one can go too, and I think that's about it, okay, yeah, that's it, let's delete those bones. And since there's no IK setup for this thing, we're just going to duplicate this, uh, call it IK, uh, IK food, food uh, R. And it's really important that you uh, call it, call it, yeah, anything you want basically, but just put an underscore R at the end. Uh, yeah, okay, already. Um, just you can make uh, a separate. Um, you can make a separate root bone for the IKs, but I don't really care. I never use those, so uh, I'll just parent this to the root. Uh, uncheck deform. Uh, that's not really necessary for this, probably, but I I I don't care. <laughs> Uh, we want to grab this, extrude it by pressing E, and doing it like that. Uncheck connected, I don't know why it does that. Uh, and just drag it out there. And this one a bit like that, yeah. Um, 
And we want to call this IK full R. Leg. Again, it doesn't really matter what, what you call this, just put an underscore R at the end. Uh, let's just duplicate this one, uncheck the form, connect it to the root, and name it IK and R. And uh, that's it, yeah. Now we're gonna grab that bone. by pressing E doing that root I parented to the root uncheck the form drag it out there and call it full uh full arm R R now uh you basically have it all set up oh no 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 wait we want to duplicate this one again for one really convenient bone called the uh, normally it's called the IK hand gun and uh, no, no R at the end because this gun this this bone basically moves both hands and that's that's uh, good for whenever you uh, want to make an animation and uh, move both hands at the same time for example, if you're um, making your character hold a weapon and you want her to run around with the weapon, you can't just manually move this hand around to stick to the weapon itself. You can use these, this bone to, um, uh, to do that. Okay, uh, where is my other one? Yeah, we want to parent this to the... Uh, handgun just because the handgun is gonna move both of these okay so we have that set up you want to go back to pose mode and you've got your foot and you've got your IK foot because you just added that and you wanted that you want to shift click again so you have both uh, wait, you, you you want to make sure you have the IK foot R selected first, then you shift, click again, so you select both the foot and the IK foot and the foot, press shift I, and you have got this now. Uh, okay, so the, what you want to do is just make this, make this three, so it's going to connect to the thigh, and check the rotation uh, while you go there pull leg and if it doesn't do anything weird uh, you don't have to do anything here but I will probably do, do uh, show you what I mean in just a second when I grab this not the hand not the IK yeah actually the IK hand actually uh, Let's just let's just grab the IK hand gun. Nope, the IK hand gun, and move that up a little, so we don't get confused grabbing, uh, grabbing the IK hand gun or the IK hand. So uh, we want to we ha we have the hand. We're gonna do the same thing. First, select the IK hand R, then select the IK hand, just the normal hand, and press Shift I. What the hell happened? Oh no, I did something wrong. Uh, yeah, you don't want to move that bone. <laughs> um. Well, let's just grab the IK hand and delete that and create it again because I did something wrong in the beginning. Okay, uh, IK, you should you should make uh, this bone last, not before you make the IK handgun. So IK hand R 
and five minutes after that, done. I get hand gun. I take the form, and now it should come up properly. Okay, we've got the hand. We've got the IG hand gun. Then it should select. Then you should select the IG hand R, and you can uh, do the same thing we did with the foot. And okay. Oh, it was was just a matter of <laughs> doing that. Okay, that's no that's normally not that way when you uh, when it uh, when it when it already has a setup set up for you yeah okay let's just get the pole out here the pole arm and as you can see it does make this weird shape and whenever you try to move the thing it just does this weird thingy where it just looks where it literally looks gay so uh, what you want to do is just change this to 180 and it will display normally um, so, uh, you've got that set up for this side. Uh, so basically what this bone does is just, it makes the knee point at this bone. Uh, so the handgun uh, basically moves both these hands, but we're gonna get back to that later because we are going to get back in here while we select this half. There we go. Um, it probably doesn't even matter if the uh, if it if the bone doesn't have an R uh, at the end. So we are just going to uh, go to symmetrize, and that's it for that. But only this bone. A few bones will not be directed or permitted to the right thing anymore, so you want to fix that. Uh, this one is supposed to go to the with the upper arm L twist. Yeah, and if we go back to post mode, you see that these both are turned the wrong way, so you want to change that to zero, and you want to change this to. 1A. Now look at that. You've got yourself a beautiful IK rigged thingy. You can just move around and do anything with you want. You you can you can play around with these bones. Make a move like that. Uh, this is just a simple uh, rig by the way. It's not nothing really complicated. Um this works basically every time you do it I've never been through a time that it didn't work <laughs> uh, by the way one thing you can do uh, to make it look more fancy is to for example add a circle an empty circle uh, and go into pose mode grab oh yeah by the way I will demonstrate what the IK handgun does it basically does this so it moves both hands um, so you want to grab the IK hand, there we go, and you can go ahead in here and grab the empty so it makes it look like it's special. So now you can, it doesn't do anything but change the bone to that. And you can do that for any bone you want, but yeah, this is just a simple tutorial. Uh, Jesus Christ, and it's 17 minutes long. Well, okay, uh, that will be about it, though. Yeah, see ya.